Hello and welcome back today. I have another PC build for you guys. After I noticed you, you do like my PC builds because I got quite a lot of views. So we're gonna be building a $2500 ultimate gaming PC. So let's get right in. The CPU I have chosen the i7-5820K because it's a great processor. It's Haswell E so it, ha it fits in the socket. 2011 v3 so watch out for that it has six cores 12 threads its base clock is 3.3 gigahertz and turbo boost clock of 3.6 gigahertz it has hyper threading and you can easily overclock it above uh, 4 gigahertz it doesn't have the cooler included so you'll, you'll have to buy either a water cooler or an air cooler but it's a great processor overall I do really recommend it for the motherboard I have chosen the MSI X99A Gaming 7 motherboard because it has great aesthetics it has all the newest features like USB 3.1 it's it has four PCI Express lines eight DIMM slots that support DDR4 up to 3333 megahertz and yes it's basically a great motherboard for a very low price for an X99 platform at only $250 that's US and yeah that's not there's not more to say about it a great motherboard overall for the RAM I have chosen the G Skill Trident Z which is priced at $100 for two 8GB sticks so that's total of 16GB and, and 16GB should be used in such a high-end system it has gorgeous heat spreaders I really love them speed doesn't really matter but they are almost the same as all others but the heat spreaders are so amazing on this one I really love them a great GPU choice is the MSI Twin Frozer Edition GTX 980 Ti because it has 6 gigs of GDDR5 memory and this gorgeous looking backplate and cooler on it I really love them this is probably one of the best designs uh, on a graphics card so far and has this function um, that the fans don't even start spinning until the GPU reaches about 60 degrees Celsius and even then they're dead silent it has three, d uh, three display ports, one HDMI port and one DVI-I port so yeah, a pretty sexy looking GPU we have here you can if you have uh, that much money you can even go with two of these bad boys or even three and put them in SLI and then you have one of the most powerful gaming computers I have used the NZXT Kraken X61 in my previous build if you want to check that one out I will leave a link in the description below but it's a really gorgeous I should say sexy looking uh, CPU cooler, you definitely can't compare it with this Intel piece of shit. But yeah, it's really awesome. It has an RGB LED in the pump, and there haven't been any complaints of leaking, just some noise complaints, but that's not a major one. So yeah, it's really awesome, it cools the CPU very well. For the power supply I have went with the Corsair HX1000i because it has 80 plus platinum efficiency, a quiet mode, it's fully modular, it, has, it even has a monitoring via USB, so you just connect it, it to a USB header and you can monitor it through Windows and yes it's thousand watts I know that's a bit overkill for this build you can go with something like 800 watts but I used thousand watts because 
uh, future proofing the computer so that's very useful to have so you don't have to buy another power supply this is another awesome case from NZXT the H440 this is this was the one of the most popular cases in 2013 I personally love it because of its modern looks it's very beginner friendly the only downside is the a sound amplifying material on the non-windowed side which prevents you from tucking all the cables behind there but it's really gorgeous looking case um, too bad it doesn't have a DVD bay so that's three and a half inch bay for the DVD reader or card or, or SD card reader or or any of that size but if you do really need that uh, it is available on the NZXT H630 but that is quite a bit hard priced so I would go with this one for the storage solution I have chosen the Samsung 850 Pro SSD the 512GB model if you like you can purchase two of those and put them in RAID 0, RAID 1 or any, uh, or any other configuration that you prefer, prefer or need but it's a really good SSD a bit hard priced you can go with its cheaper brother if you want to that is the 850 EVO this one, uh, the pro version has a bit higher read and write speed, but only about tw 20 gigabytes or so. So yeah, it's a pretty good SSD, as I said, you can put them in rate, it will be even better. So that was my ultimate gaming PC build, I hope you like it. It was meant only for rich men, for those rich men out there but you can modify some parts if you want to but check the compatibility between them if you chose to if you chose another one so yeah please like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time